Cary police are hoping new surveillance video will lead to an arrest in a string of break-ins targeting local restaurants. We want to show you this video here. In the left corner, you can see the burglar there trying to pry open a cash register. Police telling WRAL five businesses were hit along a five-mile span of Kildare Farm Road or right nearby. WRAL's Matt Tallhelm is at Cary Police Headquarters with new information that we're learning about these break-ins through surveillance videos. So what have you uncovered a little bit more of, Matt? Uh, yeah, Cary police here tell us they believe it is the same person hit all five of those businesses. We obtained a surveillance video from the security cameras at three of those restaurants. All three of them, you can see one burglar go into those restaurants, break in through a side door and go right for the cash. A burglar dressed in black slinks through a side door at Brothers of New York Pizza, hops over the bar and uses what looks like a crowbar to pry open the cash register. The pizza parlor is right across from Frida's patio, where a rock is now embedded in the wall after a burglar launched it through the glass door to get inside here. It's just really heartbreaking and frustrating for us because, you know, we work very hard for what we do. Natalie Pavletic's parents own the Mexican restaurant they started as a family five years ago. Their cash register is now gone from its spot behind the bar, so is some money from the office. After this burglar with a crowbar broke in and walked out with the register under their arm. It's a hard time for us, honestly. So to see that and just another expense building up, it's not something that we expected and, you know, not kind. These neighboring restaurants aren't the only ones hit in a string of break-ins early Monday morning. The front door of Gonza Tacos y Tequila in Waverly Place is boarded up. Cary Pub was a target. So was Totopos, where the burglar also smashed through a side glass door to get inside. He went straight to where he knew the money was. Their security video shows the thief creep carefully through the shattered glass to get away before police arrived at the restaurant. It's definitely really scary because you feel totally exposed. Now, we also know someone broke into Vic's Italian restaurant in downtown Raleigh at the same time that these incidents were happening here in Cary. And of course, these are the latest in a series of break ins. Back in the end of September, we reported on several businesses, four of them, including three restaurants that were hit all along Cary Parkway, not far from where these latest ones happened. I asked Cary police about that to see if they are connected. They would not tell me if they believe these are connected. Hey, Matt, you know what? I actually just got off the phone with uh, Vic's Italian restaurant not too long ago. The owner says the person who broke in, they tried to get stuff out of the register, but there was no cash, and they didn't even go for the expensive stuff, the wine. So very interesting. We'll hear more from the owner later tonight on WREL. Matt, tell him live in Cary. Thanks, Matt.